They say there's about 165 ways to make bacalao, the national fish of Portugal. Today, we're going to make one of the most popular. This has to be at least in the top five. It's called bacalao abraj. It was developed in Lisbon in an area they call Barrio Alto, a section of Lisbon that's just beautiful, a lot of bars and restaurants. Check out these sites. Lisbon has so much character, so many steep hills, narrow streets, but a great walking city. And it's just one of those cities you, you want to get lost in because it feels like you're kind of in a maze because the streets are so tight, but you turn a corner and boom, all of a sudden there's a cool little bar or a cool little restaurant to eat at. And, and at night, it's very moody, you know, it's not like super well lit it's very it's a safe city but you know you're just it's just cool adventuring at night and checking out the local entertainment great place to visit we'll get to it bacalao abraj it was invented by this guy braj who was a chef at one of the restaurants there pretty simple dish to put together once you soak your cod like always with bacalao the salted cod you have to soak it at least 24 hours and up to 48 hours changing the water about four times a day these pieces were thinner so I only soaked them for 24 hours and it looks like they're doing great. So we get about six eggs. I'm making a recipe for about three people here. Kind of cut it in half. Some olive oil, some olives, some fresh bay leaf. You could use dry bay leaf also. Some garlic and onions. And then the other interesting thing they put in here, I forget if I got these from a Portuguese market or from Amazon, but they put these matchstick potatoes. And you could buy this from a lot of Portuguese markets or you'll see this in the US quite a bit too. Just these matchstick french fries. These are from Portugal. They're actually called batata frita and uh, looks like they're made in Sexal, Portugal. Sounds like a pretty fun place to visit. Um, uh, I think that's Seychelles, Portugal. I think that's how you pronounce that. Simple recipe. We'll get to it. The first thing we're going to do is boil the salted cod. Okay, the bacalao has been cooking for about 10 minutes and you can see how I just could pull it apart. Like this big piece just broke up, but with another one, pulled it right apart just with two forks. When you could do that, you know it's done. Now I'm gonna slice up my onions. Traditionally, that's how they're cut, a nice thin slice. Also, I'll chop up my fresh garlic. Next, I'll chop up the fresh parsley. Okay, my bacalao is done cooking. So now you can do this with your fingers or two forks. You just want to break it up. You kind of want to shred it up. Almost think of a, in the US and the South, they have shredded pork. Now we'll crack the eggs. and you can mix it with a fork or a whisk. Now we're gonna saute our onions until they're just soft and translucent. That should take about 10 minutes on medium heat. Then we'll throw in our garlic, cook for an additional like two to five minutes. And then we'll put in our eggs. add in some bay leaf. And this bacalao was not overly salty. One of the biggest cautions or tips is do not salt your bacalao dish, whatever you're cooking, until near the end because some bacalao is way saltier than others. But I tasted just the fish by itself was was very good. So that's why I'm, I'm going to add more salt because the eggs will need salt and the onions needed a little bit of salt. So I'll add a little more salt to season those. But again, make sure you taste your bacalao first because if you taste your bacalao and it's a little salty, then you probably don't need to add any salt at all. Mm. 
are batata fritas or little french fry mac sticks. I'll throw in my parsley. It's been five minutes, now I'm gonna put in the eggs. I'm gonna put about 75% of the olives in the mixture and reserve a few of the olives to use as garnish on top. Besides, you know, soaking the baculao, putting this dish together is pretty quick at the end. I did reserve a few of the matchstick potatoes to put around and garnish with some parsley. There you go, that's your completed dish. Now you can make the famous Bucky Lao Go out and cook this for someone you love.